Hi guys, so I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, but um, when I was studying for my Kaplan, I was like planning, I only had two weeks, I was searching through videos online, I was trying to find good videos that would provide information on the Kaplan, kind of what I was getting into, the setup of the test, as well as kind of what was on it, like what I should be planning and like studying on. So I researched a bunch online. I only had two weeks, so I was kind of cramming. Researched a bunch online of the test setup, as well as kind of looked up some YouTube videos to see kind of other people's experiences with Kaplan, like what was on it, um, you know, what I should really, really be focusing on. So I thought that I would hop on here and make a video to help other people that were going to take the Kaplan. I ended up doing very well for my first Kaplan attempt and got into the place that I got into, and I hope the same thing happens to each and every one of you guys, but I figured I'd pop on, give some information, and kind of try to help other people out <laughs> to make sure that they don't have to go through what I went through, kind of just getting all the information in one spot. So the actual setup of the test is you have 22 questions in reading comprehension, and you have 45 minutes to do them, which when I was taking the test, it actually was felt like an ample amount of time. It actually was good. I didn't feel like I was rushed or anything. I gave myself about one to two minutes per question and it ended up working out really well. So I thought that the actual amount of times that they give you is pretty good and um, it's doable. Um, the science section, there's 20 questions and you have 30 minutes. The math, que the math questions are 28 and you have 45 minutes to do those as well. Um, the writing is 21 questions and you have 45 minutes to do them. And so for mine, I think it went reading first and then I had either math and then writing or writing and then math and then science last. So um, I mainly studied this Kaplan for, where is it? This nursing test prep book. And what I found was the writing and reading portions of this book are pretty much spot on as to how the format is on the Kaplan. So for the reading section, it's like the SAT setup, so you could use SAT um, passages as well online, which is what I did along with this book, but the passages are set up almost exactly the same. So you'll have the passage on the left side normally, and then the questions following the passage on the right. And it's the exact same setup. The passages are normally only a page long. And most of the questions were um, identify the purpose. What's the author's purpose? Um, what would you um, name this passage? What's the main idea of this passage? Like contextual vocab within the passages. What does this word mean in this passage? Um, and then just basic logic and inferences made upon the passages. So I thought it was one of the sections that I focused my study on, and I thought it was one of the harder sections, that along with the writing, because I'm a science and math girl, I'm not a big reading and uh, writing girl, but I definitely thought that it was similar to the SAT. This book kind of hit it on the head with the verbiage, the way they word the questions on the passages, as well as the passage length and the setup that it is on the Kaplan. So I would recommend this book for the reading and writing portions, um, this also has good information on the writing portion, which kind of focuses on proper punctuation, sentence structure, syntax, like paragraph logic. Um, I had a lot of ones where it would actually have like the sentences numbered, and then it would have in the 21st sentence or the, tw the 20, uh, 20th sentence or whatever, there's a... Uh, syntax error or there's a punctuation error or there's a spelling error and you go to that sentence and kind of find the error and it'll have like ways that you can fix it almost as a b c and d um so those those can get a little tricky so i'd really brush up on sentence structure you know punctuation what a semicolon is what a um, colon is uh kind of contractions um you know, more diverse sentences are in these paragraphs, so I would definitely um, kind of brush up on that, especially if you're not fresh out of college writing or college 
I would definitely look into that because a lot of the sentences, I mean, a lot of the questions were like that. Um, there's, where is there a subject verb agreement error? So no subject verb agreement really well. Um, which sentence could be eliminated? Which sentence could be added? Um, and then no, of course, your spelling, which um, I thought that the spelling wasn't too crazy. The words um, weren't too crazy when it asked spelling questions. Um, another hint that I have is make sure that you read your questions first because that will save you so much time. And I think that that's why I was kind of scooting through it pretty well was because I read my questions first and some of the questions will be like in the 21st sentence, like I said earlier, and you don't need to read any of the prior context before, especially on the writing one. Sometimes you don't even need to read the context before. You just need to read that one sentence and fix that one error in the sentence. So you could skip all that reading and just go straight to that sentence. So make sure that you read the questions first. And also it primes you, even in the reading section, of what you're looking for. Am I looking for the main idea? Am I looking for a specific detail? Am I needing to focus on a certain paragraph? So I definitely read the questions first. Um, the math portion, super easy. If you know multiply, divide, add, subtract fractions, you're set. You don't need to even focus on anything else. Um, along with ratios and percentages. And then there's a couple basic word problems. Um, there wasn't anything that like jumped out at me that was um, alarmingly difficult. And also, I think I used a calculator once. They provide a calculator on the screen in the top left corner, and you can click on it anytime and use it. And I I think I used it maybe once to check one of my conversions of fractions to decimals or like just to check one of my answers when multiplying fractions, but that was pretty much it. Um, so math, I wouldn't focus on too much. I would recommend taking this diagnostic test in the beginning. It has a math, math reading, writing, and science like type of test. It's formatted with the amount of questions that the Kaplan has. Like it's pretty close to the amount of questions like kind of maybe a little bit more condensed, but I would take that diagnostic test, see what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and really focus on your weaknesses, especially if you only have like two weeks like I did. I completely ditched the math and science because I recently took a and I knew the basics of a and and kind of what to study, and I also found quizlets that were very, very similar to the questions that I studied, which I'll link in the description box below, but yeah, take the diagnostic test, focus on your weaknesses, especially if you're cramming. Um, for the science portion, there was probably no questions on chemistry, and I think there's maybe one on microbiology. Um, I think there's one on mitosis meiosis, maybe one on diffusion, but that was about it. Um, so for the ENP section, it's a little bit harder if you didn't recently just take ENP, but if you did recently take ENP and you know all the basics of the body systems, um, you'll be set. I would know for sure the brain, the parts of the brain, um, four brain, mid brain, hind brain, um, the different lobes, definitely focus on those because I can guarantee you there's two to three questions I think on the brain and the parts of the brain and what they um, what functions they controlled. So know that. Also know um, the heart, the pathway of blood through the heart. You know, really focus on knowing the basics of each system. The function of breathing, you know, it goes in through your um, nasal passageway, nasal pharynx, nasal pharynx, through your trachea, you know, through the bronchioles, and know the alveoli as well. Know the alveoli. For sure, there's a question on that. Um, or I shouldn't say there's a question on that. There's a question involving the alveoli. Um, no asthma and gout. There's a couple weird, like, disorders, diseases that are on there, or um, problem medical problems that are on there that are kind of like what? That's kind of like a weird detail type thing to focus on, but it kind of sums up the overall. Um, respiratory system if you kind of know what asthma does to it type of thing. So no asthma, no gout. You know, gout is like swelling, redness, no fat. Um,
um, know the, the breath, know the three compartments of fluid, interstitial, extracellular, and intracellular. Know that, because that is also, I think, on there, maybe. Um, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, what they control. Also know, like, the SA node, the AV node, all the AV bundle, all those different parts of the heart. Know that. Um, know what system controls the SA node, I think. It's the autonomic nervous system, I think it mentions on the thing. Um, basically just know the overall basics of the nervous system, circulatory system, you know, white red blood cells, um, and the immune system. Uh, know, I mean, I don't think there's very many on the skeletal system, know the parts of the brain, there was one on the digestive system, I remember. It was, where is the most food absorbed? And if you, if you remember from A&P, small intestines. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you'll be pretty set if you know the basics of each system. Um, I'm trying to think of any other specific questions. I know that when I was studying, I went on Quizlet and searched um, Kaplan science questions in Quizlet, and there are some Quizlets that have IQ panel and those types of questions. So, I recommend to look it up, and also I'll link some in the description box below. But the ones with the less amount of questions, like 22, 23, 20 questions, in the science section, or in science, on the Kaplan, in the Quizlet, those ones are pretty simple. And I'll link some below that were almost exactly what was on the test. And they can change it. You never know they change it. So know the overall basics of every system. But pretty, pretty spot on those quizlets. Um, that's about all I have. You know, just use this to study writing and reading. Go through these um, diagnostic tests. Find out your weaknesses. Focus on your weaknesses. They have good reading sections that have similar setup and verbiage. They have good writing questions that have similar setup and verbiage in here. Wouldn't use this for um, science and math. I mean, it has an overview of the system, so it's pretty general, but I'd use Quizlets for the science as well as your own anatomy notes, if you have anatomy notes or borrow them from someone else. Um, that's pretty much it. Two weeks, it's cram time. If you only have two weeks left, if you have more time, you can definitely um, brush up on more so you'll be more set but I only had two weeks and it, my studying ended up working out so I just wish you all luck good luck on the Kaplan and good luck I hope that you get into your nursing programs I hope that this helped because I know I was kind of frantically searching the internet on what the Kaplan entailed for me so